Many people know the Wayback Machine to be useful for you to recover deleted website, old website, but can you think about it that the Wayback Machine has a copy of your website or any website you want to really clone online? Uh, so right on my screen here is web.archive.com. So you can just easily type that into your browser and you should have the Wayback Machine here. So let's say that you want to clone any website. Uh, the good thing about using this tool to also clone a website is that you can use this tool to clone uh, maybe the old version of uh, any website you want to clone. For example, let's just say we want to uh, let's come to maybe a live website here, any random website, maybe let's just say bitcoin.com. So right on my screen here is bitcoin.com. Uh, so you can scroll down, you might just say, yes, I want to clone this website. Uh, but the thing is that bitcoin.com has not always been like this. Bitcoin.com has experienced some types of changes and upgrade to the UI or UX over the years. So let's just uh, copy this uh, URL and let's come back to the Wayback Machine. Let's paste that here and let's search for the archive pages of this website on the Wayback Machine. As you can see here on the screen here, the Wayback Machine has archived this page 6,802 times between June 2nd, 2003 to April 10, 2024, which is today's date. This is crazy. So it means that uh, this website has gone through lots of changes over the time and you can find them here. So let's say this is uh, uh, definitely if you want to clone the existing version, just want to come down here and find the latest time that this website has been archived. So you can see here in April here, you can see this uh, blue, whatever. When you see this blue uh, button here, it means that that is a successful crawl. Uh, but when you see the green version here, it means that the website was not successfully crawled at the time. So we're going to work with the blue version. As at today's date, which is April 10, this website has been crawled and around 042958. So, so let's check out what this website looked like at this date. So as you can see here, we have Bitcoin.com live website here. And you can see, this is exactly the same thing we have right here, right? This is super cool. This is still loading. I think my internet is quite very, very slow. So you can see, okay, the picture here is popping already. So you can see this is good. Uh, but right now, let's say that we want to look for older version of this website. I'm still coming back to this because there's still some things you need to check out from this to be sure that you are good to go with the clone of the website. Uh, so right now, let's say you want to maybe just check out old version. You don't want to use this version. You want to check out for old version, which may be good for you, uh, really. Uh, so you may just want to just go back in time and just check. Let's go to 2020 and let's see what this website looked like at that time. My internet connection is quite very slow, so you're going to appear with me. And sometimes the server for the archive, sometimes... Uh, a uh, way back machine server too can be extremely very slow to a time so you have to just give this some time so as you can see here we now have a different version of bitcoin.com so this is exactly what this website looks like as at 2020 so you can see here if you come to the url you are going to see the date this is 2020 and this is 0331 you can also confirm that here this is march 31st 2020 so this is what the website looks like it's still loading like i told you i think that's my internet or maybe is the wayback machine server i can't tell the website here is still blurry uh once it's done everything we pop so you can see here uh this thing is still uh loading so this is now a different version of bitcoin.com and this is good you might just want to make do of this uh, this is the flexibility that uh this tool gives you for you to clone any website so right now let's just assume that we are good with this uh the version of the website we want to clone another thing you want to ensure before you start the process of cloning this is to make sure that every page on this website is indexed on the Wayback Machine. You want to do your due diligence to check all the page on this website to see that it has been indexed by Wayback Machine. So now the big question is what do you do when you have found 
a website you want to clone and a certain page on that website has not been cloned, what do you do? Uh, the simple solution to this is for you to request that the Wayback Machine manually clone or crawl that website. So let me give an example of that before we continue this. Let me just open the Wayback Machine in a new tab. Okay, and this same thing also is applicable to a website that you want to clone that has not been indexed completely by the Wayback Machine. So now I have this website here, dafstool.com. It's a new domain I registered recently. So I'll copy this. I'm not even sure that the Wayback Machine would have indexed this uh, domain at all or this website at all. So let's come back. Let's check if it has. So we're going to paste that here and we're going to just search. So as you can see here, there is no result whatsoever for this domain. It's a pretty new domain and this has not been indexed completely by the Wayback Machine. So how do I index this on the Wayback Machine? So let's just come back here. And once you come back here now to the home page, if you come down here, you will see a place that says save page now. So what you want to do right now is to paste the URL here and then you hit the save page page button here this is you telling the wayback machine to index this page so as you can see here the next thing you have to do is just for you to just come down here and hit save page and that's it so as you can see here we got some error it says the server is temporarily unable to service your request due to maintenance downtime or capacity problem try again later so like i told you earlier i noticed that the website is extremely slow so you are going to experience this from time to time depending. There are times you use this tool is extremely super fast. The server is available, but there are times you use this tool like this and the server is extremely, extremely slow. But that's the process for you to request that the page be indexed on this tool. Uh, whether or not the complete website is not indexed at all or a certain page on that website is not indexed so i'm not going to waste time trying to redo this i just want you to know exactly how this work this is exactly how that work right now once you've been able to find the page you want to clone the website you want to clone at the certain time you want to clone you want to do your due diligence very well to ensure that no part of the website is broken not the pictures are intact and every of the pages are well indexed and once you do that you now need to see how to download these and for you to be able to do that there are some tools that you can use so i found this uh, page quite very very instructive uh, so if you come here you will see that on this website here they have selected some third party services that they believe can help you recover your website from their server i have tried uh these four links but the best one that i've gotten is the waybackmachinedownloader.com this is a fantastic website so if you open this up this website here would literally help you clone any website on the wayback machine that's very 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 cool so now let's come back here this is what the waybackmachinedownloader.com looks like it's a fantastic tool and the beauty about this is that they also offer wordpress conversion that's quite amazing i need to mention that to you uh they offer two types of wordpress conversion one is the default version the default version is just for them reverse engineering your html website downloaded from the wayback machine create a lookalike database for you to have it as a wordpress website Basically, what you can do with it is just change the text, change images uh, using the block editor. Uh, that's basically the form of customization you can do there. So from the higher version, what they do there is just for them to redesign a lookalike version of that website in WordPress. I also render this service to my client. I help them design lookalike version of their website, charging them even way less. If you come here, they might be charging you in thousands of dollars for them to help you design a lookalike of the exact same website you want to uh, download so that will be editable with elementor with any page that you want to do depending on the agreement you have with them but let's check out this tool so if you come down here you will see that it has a free version that has a four page limit it means that this can help you clone a website from the wayback machine as far as the pages are no more than four it will help you clone it literally for free so everything you want to do is just come back here so what you have to do here is to copy the URL of the web archive as at the date that you are trying to recover. This is very, very essential 
and give them the exact date go to the date that you want to clone and then copy the url here uh, so once you copy the url come back to the wayback machine paste that url here and then give them your email and then start scraping so uh, that's it that's what you need to do if this is more than a four page url you just want to uh, possibly just come to a wayback machine download and come to order now so as you can see here uh how many website do you want to recover if it is one they will charge you 19 dollars for that if it is 224 three you can see the pricing you can check that out and i think this is a little bit very very cheap so you can also come back here and paste uh, your url here do you want to convert your html files to wordpress if you want to do that they will charge you an additional sixty dollars for you to do that uh, that is very very good for you to convert any website at all on the way back machine to your wordpress website uh, that's it so that's everything you need to do you need to just fill in your email and there are some options here for seo do you want to create a sitemap you want to say yes you want to redirect all four four pages to your home page if you know that there are four four pages you may want to do that for seo purpose i uh, want to block scraper in robot.txt that's also possible remove broken or outbound links so you may want to take out links like that uh, decrease the number of outbound links you may want to do that or remove everything completely every link on the website uh, uh, strip them off you don't want to link to any you don't want any outbound links that's possible too as well so there's some things you want to do as well here like uh, remove broken images during scraping uh, remove google analytics code that's very very important there may be some google analytics code on that website you want to remove that remove also adsense code from that website you want to do that and if you know that you are hosting the website on a different domain name you need to this and definitely if you're trying to clone a website that is not yours for example bitcoin.com you want to clone it to your own website maybe my website right now that is dabstoot.com i want to put the url of that website here this is very 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 needful for you to do so once you are done with all of these things here you can pay with stripe uh paypal alipay bitcoin whatever you want to pay and then you pay now and that's everything you need to do sit back and then allow the process to continue so basically uh to download the html version of your website that you're paying 19 dollars for uh it takes uh, a price of one hour or more or less depending on the size of the website you're trying to clone and also the speed of the wayback machine downloader at the time you are doing this so you can check your email you will see a link or also check your spam because sometimes that email may land in your spam check out you see a link for you to see the download process so you can click that link it will take you to the download page and you can see how the page is downloading uh, for the WordPress conversion, that might take 24 to 48 hours for you to allow their developers uh, manually convert that to WordPress for you and then send you the link for you to download the WordPress theme and then you can install that on any website, any WordPress website and you have your cloned website. This is super, super, super interesting, right? So that's it. This is exactly how you can use the Wayback Machine for you to clone any website online. If this tutorial has been useful, give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know your experience in the comment section. You can give this tool, Wayback Machine, down that I try. I have used the services before and I want to attest that they are good uh, at what they do. But that's it. Uh, Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more awesome tutorials like this from me. And I'll see you in another one. Until then, stay safe.